This quick video is a tutorial for anyone just starting out in airbrush painting on how to set your PSI. Every compressor is going to come with a regulator like this one with a gauge on it to set your PSI. All regulators will also have a knob on them like this red one right here. You turn it to the left to get a lower PSI. You turn it to the right for a higher PSI. Most regulator gauges have two units of measurement on them, bar and PSI. On this one, the inner ring shows kPa, which is kilopascal, and 100 kPa equals one bar. On the outer ring, the gauge shows pounds per square inch, or the PSI, and one bar is equal to about 14 and a half PSI. You could use either unit of measurement to regulate your air pressure. I prefer PSI, so that's what I'll be using throughout this video. In order to set your PSI correctly, you need to press down on the airbrush trigger so that it's spraying air. When I release the airbrush trigger, you'll see the PSI go up. And this higher number is not what the airbrush is actually spraying at. The correct number is shown only when the airbrush is spraying air. So in order to set your PSI correctly, the first thing you want to do is press down on the airbrush trigger so that it's continually spraying air. While you're continually holding this down, you can adjust the knob on the regulator. Let's say that I want to set my pressure to 30 PSI. While this airbrush is spraying, I'll adjust the knob until I see the gauge read 30. And that's all there is to it. And now you have your PSI set correctly. When not in use, the gauge will read a higher PSI. But once you start again, you'll see that number drop right back down to 30 and stay there while you're spraying. And there's no such thing about the right or the correct PSI to spray at. It all depends on what type of paint you're using and what you're painting. But if you're just starting out using normal airbrush paint, a good starting place is somewhere between 25 and 30 PSI. And then once you become more familiar with your airbrush and paint reduction, you can start playing around with it, dropping it to lower PSIs. So that's it for this one. It's just a quick video to help anyone out who's just starting out. So I hope that this quick tip was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll be back here this Friday.